Good afternoon, my name is Jakub Zmrzlík. <laughs> I'm a product manager of MAPI CZ, uh, mobile phone application and MAM portal. Uh, do you know MAPI CZ? Have you ever heard about it? Please hands up who already used MAPI CZ before. Perfect. So, uh, MAPI CZ is created by the company Seznam CZ. It's the leading technological company in Czech Republic. And uh, Seznam CZ produces many websites. It has own a searching engine and also email. And if you will go to any website of Seznam CZ, the map is a fundamental part of those websites. One of the websites is also Mappy CZ. Uh, for us, Mappy CZ is a loving brand. So we don't earn any money, direct money from, from portal or application. But for us, it's something like an opening window for people to use other products of Seznam CZ. Uh, Mappy CZ has portal and application. In application, you can use maps online and also offline. And in a portal application, you can find basic functions, basic, basic features, same like in other applications or portals. Uh, you, can, you can use routing, you can plan your trip, you can be navigated, you can add own points, synchronize between application, portal, and do many other searching, printing, downloading for pictures, and so on. We are in a mapping conference, so we will talk mainly about maps. In Mappy CZ, you can see many different types of maps which you can use, uh, except general and satellite map, uh, which is used basically for showing additional content in other portals. Uh, we have the traffic which start to be popular, especially in the Czech Republic, but also winter map and outdoor map for what um, Mappy CZ is popular over the whole world. And you can, you can display all maps over 2D and 3D. Uh, we have own panorama. Uh, Google has Street View. We have panorama in Czech Republic with better resolution than Google. Uh, you can see reality over pictures, millions of pictures of, from users. Uh, we have slopes there, so you can see the slope in, and angles in mountains. But uh, in Czech Republic, uh, we have own uh, editorial team of cartographers, around 30 cartographers. And for Czech Republic, we are using own data. For Abroad Czech Republic, we are using OpenStreetMap. Uh, we are updating maps uh, in different, for different levels, for different layers, uh, differently. Points of interest, we are updating every one or in one or two days. Yeah, so if you will do any new point in OpenStreetMap, in one to two days, you will see those uh, POIs also in a map CZ. For uh, raster, for web portal, we are using raster tiles. We have own library, and we are updating data from OpenStreetMap once in two weeks. Uh, for application, we are using vector of data, vector map tiles, and we are updating around once a two months. Why we are updating so long for, for application? There are two reasons. First reason is some technological problems which we have or difficulties, but the second main reason is that we don't want to spam people with notifications that they need to download new offline maps uh, in few time, in few minutes, few, few days, few weeks. So that's why once or two months. Uh, why Mappy CZ is so popular? The popular is thanks to hiking map and I was really happy when I heard the presentation from Sarah yesterday morning about hiking trails and hiking map in general. Uh, we are trying to show hiking same like people used to use hiking maps in past decades. So uh, design of all maps uh, are similar like paper maps in past or what you can buy still in the market. 
Czech Republic and Central Europe has a really long tradition of hiking or outdoor. And we would like to give them the advantage of electronization, advantage of technological product, but still with the design what they used to use for many years. The main content, or the most important content of hiking maps, they are the market hiking routes. And as Sarah told yesterday, there are many different kinds of marking of hiking routes over whole Europe. And we are trying to use OpenStreetMap as much as possible. So we are showing their numbers, for example, for Alpenferra in Austria. We are showing colors in Czech Republic, Slovakia, Poland. We are showing symbols in Hungary, East Germany, and so on. We are showing uh, nodes in Belgium. Uh, also in cycling, we are trying to show how it's marking in the terrain in reality. Of course, there are some other information like Klettersteigs. There are information about the difficulty of the routes. So people who are going hiking, they can, they can use maps with all information what they have and they can find in a terrain in a reality. Another basic function of hiking routes is routing, or hiking routes, uh, outdoor routes is routing. So if you want to go hiking, you want to plan your route, and you want to plan your route, which is especially prepared for hiking. So if you are a hiker, in our maps, you can plan a route uh, which is specialized over the hiking market hiking routes or the fastest. If you are a biker, cycler, you can plan your route for, especially for mountain biking or for uh, road biking. Uh, we are using, again, open source data, and we are doing really big post-processing of the data to import it there, all information, all attributes, which is necessary for doing good uh, uh, routing models. If we are going hiking or cycling or any other outdoor activity, you, need, you want to know also information about points which are related to your, to your activity, to your trip. So in a map, you can see many points, interactive points, like here, restaurants, uh, even toilets, uh, signposts, and so on. And if you will click to each point, you can find description, you can read description of the point, see pictures. Also in the maps, we have uh, closer, closer of, the, of the routes. We had uh, some restrictions because we are cooperating with, with national parks, we are cooperating with other, other regional administratives. And if we are talking about points of interest, we are not talking only about points which are really important for your outdoor, outdoor infrastructure, but in general about all information in a map. Uh, we, we are creating the big, huge lexicon of whole world, which is related for your travel, for your hiking, for your trip. And again, you can find over searching or click to any, any point in a map, and then see more information, description, text, uh, structured information, photos, addresses, and so on. How we are doing it? Uh, yeah, also yesterday, it was here presentation about Wikidata. So we are using Wikidata for it. And thanks to Wikidata in OpenStreet or QCode, uh, we are connecting all content from OpenStreet with Wikimedia uh, information. Uh, Wiki Wikipedia we are using for text description of each point in every languages which are in Wikipedia. Uh, Wikimedia, Wikimedia Commons we are using or we will use in a few days uh, for pictures where we don't have own pictures from users. Wikidata we are using for structured information who is the architect or who is the, I don't know, uh, what is the religion. And also, th this Wikipedia or Wiki, Wikidata uh, connection is important for uh, place searching. We are using own place searching, and uh, according to the 
number of connections, we are calculating importance of each point, which is then ranking more high in the results. Uh, we are living in a visual world, not only in text, but now in a visual world. And if you are going somewhere, you want to see how it looked like there. And we have own database of millions of pictures from users, but uh, for places where we don't have own pictures because our users are mainly from Europe, uh, in some regions we don't have pictures. In a few days we will have their pictures from Wikimedia Commons. So if in future you will want to go somewhere to Jeju Island in South Korea, to Small Hill, even there you will find a picture, you will see how it looked like there and if it is interesting for you to visit there. Uh, for outdoor activities, necessary to know the relief, the terrain, how it looked like. Historically, we used certain models, uh, but now we are changing to much better resolution models. Uh, we are mixing, combining together Copernicus with uh, Japanese ALOS and with uh, models created from LIDAR uh, clouds, point clouds. Thanks to this, we can show really detailed hill shading, contour lines, and then we have elevation database from where it can be generated, elevation profiles, your actual altitude or ascending or descending meters of your route. Uh, our maps are used by millions of users and also they want to contribute our application and portal. We are giving them chance to send us feedback. Every day we are receiving thousands of feedback from people, from our users. And they can tell us about new points in a the map. They can tell us uh, what, where we have problems, where we have some mistakes or missing information. Our editorial team, they are repairing all of this information and trying to add to the map, to, to our database or to OpenStreet. Also, people are able to insert pictures, as I told before, and write a review of any subject, any point in a map, if they like there, if it is there really nice or really bad. They can share information, export, import, and so on. Also, they can use our map in their projects. So if you have own projects based on map, you can use our API with really nice, nice pricing, much better than competitors. How we are interacting with OpenStreetMap and Wikimedia and other open projects? Uh, we are using OpenStreetMap for abroad as our base, base source. And we are cooperating in a national area with uh, communities of OpenStreetMap community and Wikimedia community, for example, in Slovakia or Czech Republic. Uh, people, as I told, people uh, writing us problems in OpenStreet data or uh, abroad uh, in our data and over our data in OpenStreet. And our editorial team repeat, uh, repairing all data if it is possible and if it is clear. They are checking first in reality and then repair. Uh, today I had, I had here a meeting with Polish community and they were really unhappy that we are sending them so many information, so many new information. Uh, also, we are doing some special projects directly by, by our editorial team. Uh, we are doing some corrections or making new relations between the, uh, some objects in a map. For example, if the river is uh, separated to many different different points, different lines, then we are doing relations between them. And another important thing is that we are adding more Wikidata ID inside data because for us it's important to connect together and uh, then you will see information, you will see pictures. And last and thing is that uh, we are now doing some procedural thing over, over, over the company. We are not so small company, so it, it, it takes quite a long time. But in a few days, I hope I can say that we will be corporate member of OpenStream Map Foundation. Okay, so that's all about Mappy CZ. And in a second small part, short part, I will briefly tell you about our CSR activity, which is tactile maps uh, or haptic maps. 
I have here, but later I will show you some examples how it looks like. Uh, Tactile maps is a special map created for blind people or for people who have problem to see. Uh, we created this project with universities in the Czech Republic. And now we are cooperating even with universities, associations, and nations over whole Europe. People are able to choose their maps in uh, Mappy CZ or Tactile Maps EU. Uh, they can choose from three different layers, road map, city map, and street map. And then uh, our system will change the map to special tactile map with brylic letters. Then uh, it's printed to special micro capsule paper. And then over infrared lamp, it's heated. So, Braille letters and also the structure growing up, and then you can read it by your by your hand by touching. Uh, this project is CCR activity of our company, so anyone from whole world can choose their map over website or portal or over universities. We will print it and we will send for free anyone in the whole world. Thank you very much for your listening. If you have any question, please ask me anytime. Thank you very much. So any question from the public? Um, just uh, saying that the, the tactile maps are very cool and it's very cool that you're doing that for free. Um, I will give you an example. Yeah. Um, one of the questions, it was something that you just briefly mentioned. Um, the, you also have street view imagery. Is that, does you guys make that or does the community make that? No, um, uh, we, we have it only in the Czech Republic. Uh, historically, we made it and in last three years, so we ordered it from one company, Cyclomedia, and Cyclomedia made it for us. So. Like uh, the company was going over all streets in the Czech Republic and made it. Yeah, yeah. and lights, it's it's quite expensive <laughs> thing, but on the other hand, it's very very useful for other services of Cezna. For example, Cezna big portal is a real estate portal, and for real estate, it's of course street view really important. Yeah. So the, the license of the image is Cyclomedia, so it's yeah. Okay. Yep, that was my question. <laughs> I had uh, two questions. Uh, uh, the first question is, what uh, program do you use for your, your routings, like OSRM or Graphhopper, or did you write something yourself? We, we, ha we have our own. Oh, okay, nice. And the second question, you, you do a lot of things, and they all look very good. And I was just wondering Thank how many much. people are actually working at uh -huh. Mappy. OK, so for Mappy CZ, working around uh, 95 to 100 people. Only for Mappy CZ. I'm not speaking about sales of Cessnam, which are also cooperating with us. Thanks. And from 100 people or 95 people, there are 30 to 35 uh, cartographers. And um, main main other people are programmers. Good job. <laughs> Thank you very much. From remote, Peter is asking. You talked about different hiking data based on the country symbols. For uh, parenthesis, symbols in Hungary, etc. So, do you use different map style of marked routes uh, in different countries, for example, according to national practices? Because the uh, quotes mess, as Sarah mentioned yesterday. Uh, we are trying. We are trying. Of course, somewhere is not so easy, but we are trying. So, as I told, for example, for Austria or up sector, up area. We are trying to use typical marking there over numbers. Uh, for example, in Hungary, they have special symbols, or East Germany around Dresden, they have special symbols in the maps. Uh, in the Czech Republic, uh, Slovakia, Poland, it's easy. Same like Sarah told at the beginning, the, her speech, uh, we have colors. Uh, in uh, Belgium or Netherlands, there are nodes. Uh, we have a little bit difference between application and portal. 
So in web portal is in much better quality than application. We need to do still some more things how to visualize better. But we are trying and we will do still, I hope, better and better, and it will be same like in reality. That's our main objection, then people can go somewhere where it looks similar like in reality or like before in the paper maps. Any other question? So I have a question. Uh, before you talked about uh, uh, people can use uh, the uh, your maps through APIs, you mean that people can use uh, the raster and vector tiles that you created, or uh, there is some other API? Ah, in uh, for API, you can use uh, our raster tiles. Uh, you can use our raster tiles in different styles. So it can be the basic map or general map. It can be hiking map. And you can use it in any library. We are using the basic libraries like MapLibrary or, or Leaflet. And uh, of course, there, there are also not only tiles, but you can use it for searching. So there, there is a suggest and for routing. So from remote, uh, Yves asks, how could we suggest you to render new tags, for example, uh, border uh, equal forest compartment? Anyway, how can you suggest you to render new tags? Or what? New tags. I guess uh, new uh, render new feature based on the. Ah, okay. Uh, if if you want to have a new new feature in a map, then just put it out to Open Street. It will be there in a few days in our map CZ. I guess he means uh, uh, taxes that you haven't yet used from Open Street Map. How can uh, we suggest you to use the new uh, tax? So how how we are rendering? Ah, okay. <laughs> if there is a new tag and we don't have it there, uh, they, it, you can write to over our feedback and our editorial team will check it. And if it is useful for us, then we, we will put it there and we will render. Uh, from remote, uh, Peter asks, what is the license of uh, points of interest uh, uh, photos uh, up, uh, uploaded by users? Can uh, be can they be used by OpenStreetMap community or community projects? Uh, about pictures from users, uh, there is a license that we can use. We can only MapiCZ can use it with uh, even with the contribution that uh, owner is still the the user. Any other question? Well, then I guess uh, thank you very much. Thanks a lot.